Good morning, Team McAuliffe. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make our day peaceful and happy for ourselves and everyone we encounter. Okay, we have a couple of birthdays to announce today. It is Ashton's birthday in room 203, and then in over, over in room 206, it is Yvette's birthday. Happy birthday to both of you today. Today is also an important day in American history, because every four years, we inaugurate a new president of the United States, and that is happening again today. For more information about what inauguration means and is, Check out this cool video. Some pretty great events occur every four years. The Summer Olympics, Leap Year, the World Cup, and the United States Presidential Inauguration. It might not be as exciting as the World Cup or the Olympics, but it's a big deal for Americans. The day is filled with parades, musical performances, and ceremonies in Washington, D.C. Some people cheer, others jeer, and the United States gets a new president. When is the presidential inauguration? Since 1937, presidential inaugurations have taken place on January 20th after the election. From 1793 until 1933, however, the ceremony occurred on March the 4th. Fun fact! The Constitution officially took effect on March the 4th, 1789. The 20th Amendment to the Constitution officially moved the date up to January 20th to prevent the lame duck president from hanging around in office too long. What were early presidential inaugurations like? When George Washington was elected president, he recited the oath of office, kissed the Bible, and ended the evening with fireworks in New York. That's where the Capitol was at the time. Thomas Jefferson was the first president actually inaugurated in Washington, D.C. He walked to his inauguration and for the first time the Marine Band played during the day. He's also famous for welcoming people to the White House in slippers, so that's pretty cool. James Madison hosted the first inaugural ball. Tickets were only $4 at the time. Sweet! What happens on Inauguration Day? Traditionally, the presidential inauguration begins with a worship service. From there, the president and vice president travel to the Capitol building, where the inauguration ceremony will take place. Once they arrive, the vice president is sworn in. Then, the moment we've all been waiting for. The presidential oath of office. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The new president then gives an inauguration speech. Franklin Delano Roosevelt's speech consisted of only 559 words, about five minutes long. William Henry Harrison, on the other hand, talked for a whopping one hour and 55 minutes, in freezing weather, without a coat or hat. He died a month later of pneumonia. In the afternoon come the parades. It's tradition for the president and vice president to process down Pennsylvania Avenue and view the parade from the presidential reviewing stand. In the evening, inaugural balls are hosted in honor of the new president. People dine and dance the night away at these lavish soirees. And now for 10 fun facts about presidential inaugurations. Number 1. John F. Kennedy was the last president to wear a stovepipe hat for his inauguration. Number 2. Warren G. Harding was the first president to ride in an automobile during Inauguration Day. Number three. The song, Hail to the Chief, was first played in the presence of a president in 1829 for Andrew Jackson. It gained popularity, and today it's used as the official musical tribute of the President of the United States. Number four. William McKinley's inauguration was the first to be filmed with a motion picture camera. Number five. Franklin Pierce recited his entire inaugural speech from memory, all 3,336 words of it. Number six. The first record of a photo being taken at an inauguration was in 1857 for James Buchanan. Number seven. 
Flamethrowers were used to clear snow from the street before John F. Kennedy's inaugural parade. Number 8. George Washington's second inaugural address consisted of only 135 words. And they're all here on the screen, right now. That's it. Number 9. Bill Clinton's inauguration was the first to be streamed live on the internet. And number 10. Believe it or not, George Washington couldn't afford the journey to the capital of New York City for his inauguration due to poor crops that year, so he borrowed money from his friend Richard Conway to get there. Well, the inauguration has certainly changed a lot over the years. From speeches to crazy weather and everything in between, it's anyone's guess what the next inauguration will bring. So such an important and exciting day. Hope that you enjoyed that video and learned a little bit more about inauguration. Yesterday was Tuesday Trivia with Miss Sargent, and she asked us, what shape is a stop sign? And as you know, or as many of you knew, a stop sign is an octagon. It has eight sides, making it an octagon, just like an octopus has eight legs. Let's spin the wheel and find out who the winner is right now. Okay, Team McAuliffe, here we go to spin to see who our winner is. And this time we have... Nick Hole in room 007. Congratulations, Nick Hole. Okay, congratulations. Be on the lookout in the mail for your prize. Don't worry if you didn't win this time. We have more trivia happening every Tuesday with Miss Sargent. So we'll have a new question next week. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we will have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day, McCullough School.